See you tomorrow, fellas. Fabio back again. Hello, Fabio. Howdy doody. Fabio? Yeah, Fabio. With an O. On the end. With an O. This is the first time we've met. It is. Very nice. And now we're going to commentate doubles. That's good. I am Fico. Fico and, uh, and Fabio. Yeah, no, it's got a nice ring to it, so doesn't it? It's a pretty good, pretty good match. Well, Fico sounds like it with an F, doesn't it? So. It's pretty, pretty close. Pretty if you move similar. the I and the K around. Yeah. And then you take, change it to a B. We have the iconic duo. The Kanga Atletico. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about these uh, half jersey things. I love them. I think it's brilliant. I know, it's really throwing me off. Collaborative branding. I'm a fan. It's definitely throwing me off. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense though. These two are constant doubles partners, aren't they? Yeah, all the time. They're well, from that's the good. same region and they, uh, they generally top two. Good, good, good. Most dubs events, just for a bit of, bit of extra dosh on the side. Yeah, that's fair enough. Of course you got to do it. No, I've, uh, <coughs> yeah, I just got knocked out with uh, Tempa. We played uh, mm -hmm. played Incineroar and Piranha Plant. That sounds horrifying. And it was. It was good. Nice. We, we struck fear into the heart of many. I believe it. We did lose to uh, a fox and a wolf. Mm. But I think that's I think that's illegal, because those characters shouldn't team up. Right. That's they're, they're, not not, to. they're not allowed to. It's not canonically to. Yeah. correct. I feel like that was a bit of a bit of a bad call from the TOs. Mm. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> uh, right, but no, P it was just for fun anyway. So P9 okay. winning the rock off. Oh. Huge deal. Huge It is a huge deal. deal. So who is it? P9 and I can't see I him. I cannot from see. Here. I don't know a whole lot of faces anyway, so. By who? It'll be on the screen shortly, don't you worry. Uh, so we're gonna have Villager and someone versus likely young Lincoln Warrior. Yeah. I don't think these guys really deviate. Yeah, no, it makes sense. They're probably the few, like, true solo mains in Australia. I'm solo Mario. You're a solo I just, Mario? I just do Incineroar for doubles. Ah, there you go. It's because I just don't like playing Mario in doubles. Makes sense. Messes a lot, I know. Mm. Hey, there we are. What's up? They were saying before I blended into the couch. Oh, yeah. just, uh, <laughs> you do too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty uh, pretty stand out on the couch. Yes, no, the red shirt definitely. Uh, did you bring your Mario hat? It is. Oh, it's in the bag. Come I'll grab it. I'll grab it. I'll grab it. Um, <laughs> all right, if you've got time, be quick, be quick. He's getting his Mario hat. Very important. For the 10 seconds of screen time that we get. Inkling, let's go. Yeah, P9 and float. Yeah, sick. There we are. Yep. We are back. Sorry. Pinone and Flo. Back on the comms. Here we go. So we have an inkling. It's Flo. That's yeah, my that specialty. Oh, are you an inkling uh, man? You know, I, I have a roller or two. I used to, used to make an inkling actually, before Mario. Oh, there you go. So, I mean, seating wise, this is most certainly uh, Jono and, and Didi, but we'll have to see if, we can, if uh, Flo and P9 can make an upset. Well, I think I think you've got a you've got your two run-in characters in you know, Inkling and Wario, and then you've got your two sit-back and three projectile characters in Villager and Youngling, I guess. True, true. Even though it seems like jo Jono is contradicting me and oh. just running in with heaps of nair and back air. Yeah, Jono can definitely tussle up close with the best of them. Yeah, it's crazy. There seems to be a bit of a dubs meta here. Yeah, yeah it seems that like they're really uh, sort of covering the other character. So at the moment, uh, slightly, we have um, yellow team on two stocks apiece, and the others still in the mid, mid percent on third stock. Yeah, this is still a deadly percent. One uh, well placed uh, like splat bomb or something, put you right up a kill percent. You're viable for any sort of like mm. up throw percent might be soon as well. What do you think there. of this stage choice, man? Um, I think that. I mean, I know I don't know too much about villager. Who? Because they won the uh, they won the rock off, didn't they? Uh, yeah, the yellow team. So they must have. Mm. No. I was gonna say that. Oh yeah, they did. They did. Maybe, maybe they just don't want to die so much off the top. Maybe to like roller up smash or something. 
Um, I suppose it's pretty it's pretty hard to get roller conversions in doubles though because oh, yeah. your teammate can just come in and jab you out of the ground. Mm. I mean I think I feel like it's also a bit of space as well. Mm. It's a quite quite large blast zone from what I'm aware. I don't know too much about the side, not off the top of the screen. Nice obviously. down in there from Jono. Yeah, it's quite large blast zones. Jono's um, doing a good job. He's not falling for any of these rollers from flow. I've seen him twice now shield the roller and then get an upbeat punish. That was impressive. You had a uh, Jono was uh, trapping a uh, the inkling up on the platform with uh, Rapid Jab, and Warrior came up from the bottom and started clapping underneath him. <laughs> and that uh, that shield was nearly gone. The uh, inkling just had to take the damage. DD just threw Jono to the other side of the stage. I'm not sure if it was intentional, but it was certainly... He's just got him over there. Yeah. Coverage. <laughs> That's it. He's like, go edge card for me. That guy looks like he's coming back to stage. How he stopped that. <laughs> Young Link just refusing to die. Oh yeah, still 140. Yeah. Oh, misses a waft. Yeah, it's certainly an early time to use one. Uh, unfortunately, um, missing saving Jay Dizzle there, but uh, DD did manage to take the stock off P9 in the process. Oh, it was probably a worthy trade in the long run. Jay Dizzle's not got a lot of them. <laughs> Still got yeah, two bro, stocks. Exactly. <laughs> Very exactly. fresh. Oh, DD in a tough spot. I think he's dead. He's without his bike. Yeah. And yeah, Jay Dizzle was not in a position to save him there. Unfortunately not. They're just tussling. Diddy's just in the back there going, yeah, keep it up, man. <laughs> Good job, man. That's it. You got this. I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll sit back. Gets him with the chomp. Throws him back off stage. Jadis is trying to edge guard with that nair. Well, gets hit trying to up be back. Misses the two frame with the F2. So I think we, what we're seeing now is they're sort of taking turns going for the edge guard. Once well, the yeah, other fails, is, they're going to go back in and try and finish with the other classic started. 1v2. You have one person on the ledge for the ledge trap, and then one person back at center stage to stop them getting back to the center. It's also good, there's spa one spacing just past roll distance, one spacing right next to the ledge, so the yeah, opponent yeah. is forced to pick an option. It's that will probably get covered. Very textbook play. You can tell Jay Dizzle was ready there as well. He full hopped over for a board air in case he mashed out. Right. That's nice. That was really nice. <clears throat> Alright, well, that was so a. I, I, I wouldn't say that was a close game one. I feel like no. it was very favored towards the, uh, the blue team. Yeah, I mean. That, that's how it'd be. These, <laughs> are, these are two of the best. I mean. Two very, of the best in Australia. The very last major uh, that we saw in Australia, OHN. These, uh, these two fought off in grand finals. Yeah. And Didi took it in a bracket reset. It was a very, very good Grand Finals as well. Pro probably the... Oh. It'd be a very close one between Ben Gold beating Extra or DD beating Jay Dizzle as yeah. to what was the most hype Major Grand this, this year. It was pretty good. Anyway, were on were to Game 2. Sorry? Were you at BAM? No, no, no. I watched oh. the stream there. Incredible. Incredible. This is my first out-of-state Major, so... Welcome. Thank you. Alrighty, so a bit less space this time around. Yeah, that was probably the intention. Um, great. Yeah, no, they, they probably would have chose that to just uh, get more in Jay Dizzle's face. Yeah, but that's the problem. It doesn't seem like Jay Dizzle is too bro uh, too bothered by them being in his face. No, he... I mean, up is such a good tool to get you out of trouble there. And yeah. Near out of shields. Look at he, that. He has no of shortage of uh, get off me options. And oh my god, uses his own teammate's projectile against him. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't think that was intentional. And there's a stock going from P9. Jay Dizzle is just going off stage trying to catch this Inkling. Probably knows how hard it is for, to, to edge guard Inkling and just really wants to get them out of there. It's not too hard if you're willing to go low. Mm. Because he doesn't have a hitbox on his upbeat, so, like after the start. Right. Oh, Jay Dizzle saving DD on the ledge there. Unfortunately, DD still got scared of the bowling ball and had to go low and died for it. Did you see that though? P9 was just standing on the ledge and uh, Jono just ran to the other side of the stage. He's like, nah, I'm not getting too close. I, so, avoid it. I don't really, don't really vibe with this right now. Exactly. All right. Jono's just amazing pressure on the ledge as well. Like. Yeah. Well, you got to not only look at what Jono is doing, you got to look at what the boomerang's doing, how many arrows he's throwing out, where's the bomb currently, you know, all that sort of stuff. Mm. And where's his location on the ledge? Just runs in and dash attacks him. <laughs> Sometimes nice. just to let it rip. All right, we're going to see an edge guard here. Yep. Cool hop down here. Nice. Trying to snuff out the high recovery. Mm. 
They're both really looking right, after that ledge. Punish. No. No, it is very, very, very hard to punish that up Yeah. Believe me, I've tried. That is rough. Alright, Flo getting caught with the boomerang there. Yeah, I mean, they just let Jono get back to stage for free. Did you see that? Yeah, they were, just, they were too distracted by Didi. Oh, nice upbeat gimp there from Flo. Uh, taking the stock off Jay Dizzle with the uh, early hit of... Well, with the launch hit of upbeat. Giving it. Jay Dizzle responding in kind and nearing Inkling into the blast zone. So now we have a grim situation. Four stocks to one. This is actually better than it was last game. for them stock wise. Really? Yeah, it was 2-1 oh, well, yeah. and now it's 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, Inkling's just going to be very careful where they place themselves at the moment. One wrong move, Jadis is going to do 50%. Warriors got waft. Very scary. Yeah, Warriors, Warriors looking for those, uh... Yeah, those you watch them start hitting each other. Oh, oh, that was cool as fuck. That was brutal. That was, so that was brutal. Yeah. Um, the freeze frame on the waft is just the juiciest image. It's, you know? it's uh... It is an image. <laughs> Zooms right in there. Okay. You, just, the, every, you see Wario in all his glory. I man. will give you the fact that that image is etched into my brain, and I will never With be able to get cheeks, it out. Two cheeks, three quarters of the screen. The worst part is that it, that it expands when he does the move. It's just he thick.